Today I want to show you how to create your Discovering DIY Premium Handcasting Kit. Inside the box, we have a large handcasting bucket, Step 1 Alginate Molding Powder, Step 2 Casting Powder, Practice Casting Powder and Practice Molding Powder, a pair of latex-free nitrile gloves, two protective masks, a plastic demolding knife, a safety pen, a wood detailing stick, sandpaper, we also include bronze acrylic paint and clear sealant, a paintbrush, as well as detailed instructions. If you would like to practice first, we have included practice molding powder and practice casting powder. Use the included practice alginate powder and practice casting powder to get used to working with the materials before you make your full hand casting. You will need a small cup to pour the practice molding material into. First, pour one cup of water into a mixing cup or bowl, then add the 50 grams of practice molding powder. And finally, using a whisk or a spoon, mix for three minutes. Immediately pour the molding material into your practice cup. Next, place one or several fingers into the molding material in your cup. Make sure not to touch the sides or the bottom. Keep your finger in the molding material for three to 10 minutes until the material hardens and changes color from purple to blue. Once the material has hardened, wiggle your finger until you break the suction and slowly remove your finger from the mold. You will then move to step two, which is creating your casting. Next, combine the 50 grams of practice casting powder with four teaspoons of water into a mixing cup or bowl and mix for one minute. After mixing, immediately pour the practice casting material into your practice mold and wait for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes have gone by, you can remove the practice mold from the cup and remove the alginate molding material from the casting to reveal your practice casting. We are now ready to make the mold for our hand casting. Before you begin, put on your protective mask and protect your work area with newspaper or plastic sheeting. Measure eight cups of water and pour into a large mixing bowl. Next, you're gonna open the step one alginate molding powder package and pour the powder into the large mixing bowl. Using a whisk or a spoon, thoroughly mix the molding powder and water for exactly three minutes. After mixing, immediately pour the molding mixture into the provided bucket and tap on the sides and the base of the bucket several times to minimize air bubbles. Make your hands into the desired shape and insert them into the bucket of molding mixture until your hands touch the bottom, then pull them back up slightly from the bottom. Keep your hands still in the molding mixture for three to 10 minutes until the material hardens and changes color from purple to blue. Once the molding material has hardened, remove your hands by slowly wiggling them from side to side to release the suction. Remove one hand at a time, being careful not to damage the mold. Carefully remove any visibly loose molding pieces that may have fallen into the mold, including loose material from in between the two hands. While holding onto the mold to prevent it from slipping out of the bucket, Carefully tilt the bucket and pour out any excess water from inside the mold. Congratulations, you have finished making your mold. You may now move on to step two. First, put on your protective masks and gloves before handling the casting powder. Pour one and three quarter cups of cool water into a large mixing bowl. If hard water is a concern, use distilled or bottled water for a smoother casting. Next, open up the step two casting powder and set aside two to three tablespoons of powder to be used if any repairs must be made later. Empty the remaining contents of the step two casting powder bag into the mixing bowl. Using a whisk or a spoon, thoroughly mix the casting material for one minute until it has a smooth yogurt-like consistency with no lumps. After mixing, quickly pour casting material into the mold until the mold is half full of casting material and then tilt the mold and rotate it in all directions, allowing the casting material to coat all areas inside the mold and fill any small areas. 
Next, tap on the base and sides of the bucket several times to minimize the number of trapped air bubbles in the mold. And then pour the casting material from the bucket back into the mixing bowl. The casting material will thicken and begin to set within about three minutes, so work very quickly. Next, pour the casting material back into the mold half a cup at a time. After each half cup is poured into the mold, tap on all sides of the bucket to release air bubbles that may be trapped in the mold. Continue to pour in half cup increments and repeat the process until the mold is filled to the top. Finally, tap each side of the bucket several times to release any extra bubbles. Congratulations, you have completed the casting of your mold. Next, place the bucket in an area where it will not be disturbed. The casting material will set in 30 minutes. For best results, we recommend that you wait at least an hour, but no longer than 12 hours before proceeding to the next step. After waiting for at least one hour for your casting to harden, it is now time to reveal your casting. Pull on the sides of the bucket, causing the mold to lose suction and release from the bucket. Turn the bucket upside down, gently squeeze on the sides of the bucket, and allow the mold to slide out. If you poured casting material in the bucket above the mold to make a circular base, you will find it difficult to remove the mold from the bucket. Carefully insert the provided plastic knife between the bucket and the edge of the casting material to create a small crease. Continue pulling on the sides of the bucket until it releases from the casting. Turn the bucket upside down and gently squeeze on the sides of the bucket until the mold slides out. Next, slowly peel away small pieces of the mold using your hands and the provided plastic knife. The mold is relatively soft and easy to peel, so work slowly and be careful not to scratch your casting or break off any casting fingers. Use the provided wooden detailing stick and detailing pen to clean off residual alginate from the casting. Work slowly and carefully. It is not necessary to finish cleaning the casting in one day. Place the casting in a room with good airflow and wait a minimum of five days for the casting to completely dry before applying clear sealant, bronze paint, or using sandpaper to smooth out any rough edges. Congratulations on completing your casting.